Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rules of the Roundabout. Of course, we have crash investigator and driver safety expert, Mike Peel, who's going to drive us through a roundabout. And of course, I am Jane, um, his trusty uh, partner, I guess. <laughs> Not in crime, though. Um, anyway, I think this is a great idea, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Jane. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to say one thing about this is uh, the first time I learned about a roundabout, I was in Maryland, and it was like in 2005. And I'd never heard of a roundabout before at all. And I had gone to a grocery store and I needed to figure out, I was kind of confused of how the best way to get back to where I came from. And there was this woman who was, uh, you know, the, the checkout cashier person. And she had kind of a Irish brogue to her. Um, and uh, I asked her, I said, so how do I get to such and such address? And she goes, oh, well, you go over the hump and around the circle. And then at the second part of the circle, you take an exit and then you go to another circle and take the first circle. And I'm like, what? I know you're speaking English, but I have no idea what you are saying to me. At, I was literally like deer in the headlights when I heard about a roundabout for the first time, first in directions and then even approaching it. So um, for those of you out there that haven't maybe done a roundabout, it, it, it can be intimidating. Yes, it's going to be intimidating. And, and you know what? It's, uh, um, it's a good idea to, if you can, especially if you have a young driver that hasn't done one yet, is just go sit by one. You know, find a safe place to sit where you're not going to be in, in, in impeding any traffic and just watch it for 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes of watching something can, can, can make it easier for the rest of your life. Uh, but the key to roundabouts is reading your signs before you get to them. So we have a little clip where I actually am going to drive you through one. So hopefully it'll help you out. Great. Well, I'll play it right now, Mike. Round about a half a mile, so you need to know if it's a single lane roundabout or a double lane roundabout. People don't read their signs, so it says right here what you need to do. So if you're going to go, let's just say this particular thing on 28, you need to be one lane over. Notice you have to yield going in. It's only 15 miles an hour, so we're coming off a 55 mile an hour street. So you need to slow down. And you need to see the whole roundabout. Look across it, look over the humps. See who's coming in. Because you have to prepare to stop. If an emergency vehicle is coming through, you need to exit the roundabout. And then turn around and go back to the roundabout. So just reading your signs, making sure that person to the right is gonna yield to you because they probably won't. And then when you exit the roundabout, you use your turn signal and you move out of it. So they're very simple to do. They get kind of busy sometimes because a lot of people do not know how to do them. So reading your signs and taking your time, uh, they're here to reduce accidents, but we've had more accidents, but we've saved more lives uh, because they eliminate the left turn, but people just go into them too fast and it's supposed to keep traffic flowing. So, you know, it, it works if everybody would maintain their distance as you uh, are following a car around the roundabout. Like I say, this happens to be a single one. There's my yield right there. See, he was easy to spot. I didn't have to stop, just slowed the car down a little bit. And then you need to know when you're exiting. So if this was a double, you'd have to be in the right lane to exit the roundabout. Now there's a car stopping for me, and good job, see how this flows? So hopefully this little diagram helps you out in your roundabout driving. Thanks for tuning in live with Jane and Mike. Have a great day. So okay guys, as you see is, is you know, yeah, these are the signs you're going to encounter and you're going to encounter these a half a mile to a quarter mile before you get there. They give you plenty of time to adjust to whatever the, 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 um, the busyness of the roundabout is going to be. All right. That's why you're looking for, you don't wait to get to the roundabout and decide what you're going to do. You're looking at where your gaps are. This is no different than merging on a freeway at a slower speed. It's really all it is. 
uh, because that's what it is, is a continuing thing around. And everybody, if they just leave their gaps for someone else to merge, it makes it very, very simple. Uh, but the key is, is you pay attention. You know, as you're coming up to it, look way to the left, look way to the right, see who's going to be entering the roundabout that might interfere with you. And then we don't care who's entering all the way on the other side because they're not going to interfere with you. You'll worry about them when you make that first curve because that's where you're going to see the people coming opposite of you. So, you know what? It's all right there if you just slow down, take a look, and get used to these things. They're here to stay. And it's the yield too, right? It's the yield, yes. Yield means stop if necessary. It doesn't mean go up and stop. It means stop if there's a car. And then this little diagram right here just says, you know, um, of course the, the red car is in the, in the uh, roundabout and the orange car is coming into the roundabout. But if that orange car right now just slows down a tad, you don't have to enter at 15 if it's, if it's not clear, enter at 10. So if you just let up on your gas a little bit, adjust your speed with your gas pedal, not your brake. It makes it smoother for everybody. Let that car go. You might have to slow down to seven, eight, nine miles an hour. As soon as that car gets by, you can accelerate up to what your 15 mile an hour entrance is or whatever. Uh, just It makes it smooth. Everybody can move in and out. And then make sure you keep your following distance when you're inside that roundabout to make that nice for other people to enter and exit. And then, you know, they, I mean, when you look at this, it looks busy, but you need to know which lane you need to be in when approaching it. The sign will tell you, and it'll tell you if you're going to exit on this one, you need to be in this lane. If you're going to exit on this one, you need to be in that lane. So the double ones are even more confusing than the, the single ones. Uh, once again, if you adjust, if you have time, which you should have time, because you have an accident in one of these, you're going to wish you took this extra 10 minutes to just sit and observe a busy roundabout. And just watch how it flows and watch how it doesn't flow. Watch the people that make the mistakes, the people that do it right, and you will become an expert at roundabouts. Well, Mike, I, speaking of experts or messing up, I was uh, in Florida. I was down here and I was going into a mall that had a roundabout to get you into the shopping center. And there was a very cute uh, red car, brand new, right in front of me. Um, I think it might have been a, an elderly woman who just got a new car and she comes up to the roundabout and she takes a left oh and she God. literally takes a left right into as another car is approaching and that car just lays on its horn. She freaks out and then ends up turning right but into a huge like, you know, over a curb and onto the landscaping that's in the middle circle um, island and so much for the new car but yeah. she had no idea and obviously she wasn't looking at her signs and obviously like me i was a deer in a headlight the first time i had heard about it but fortunately i had myself educated before i got in my car about what those were uh so yes you can have a problem if you don't know what you're doing until you get there right yep and personally you know what how do you take a left and around the road i just <laughs> you know what I'm sorry. That's why I'm just sorry. Everybody out there knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. They're when not observant. Do, when people, yeah. But when people do things like that, maybe we need to just pull that little thing called a driver's license. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I don't know. It's, but or yeah, at least it's, refresher courses or something, yeah. right? Yes. Something like that. Yes. yes. But that is why you need to be proactive inside that roundabout because this, that, Poor old lady could have done that to you. So, you know what? They are confusing if you don't know what you're doing. So Right, right. And then finally, um, first come, first serve, as they say, as far as being cordial to your, the people in your circle. Yep. Once again, it's, 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 life is simple when you enter at a speed that, that is um, um, flowable, we'll say, because, you know, that's what it is. The busier it is, the slower you enter. If there's no cars around, you know, enter at your your um, entrance speed that it just told you to do. But you need to, I can't emphasize enough that you need to know if this is a double roundabout or not. And if you get in that inside lane, usually that inside lane is to get you to go all the way back around. You know what? Careful getting trapped in there. And remember, it's illegal in spots to change lanes in a roundabout. 
And also remember, if an emergency re vehicle comes in with the sirens on, don't panic. Take the first exit, pull over, make a U-turn someplace when it's safe to do so, and get back to, get back to your roundabout and, and make your exit. And this might be another thing to practice on a su quiet Sunday morning. It's like the on and off ramps, right? Exactly. That would be a great time, but not when church gets out. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, okay. Really early. Yes. Maybe it's a Saturday morning. Then. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks, Mike, again for great tips. I love that you can have your car cam and can do these uh, driving things and hopefully people like them. You know, you can get more driving tips uh, if you go to our website or uh, you can find free videos, other ones like this one you're watching today at YouTube backslash drivesaferidesafe.com. And of course, like us on Facebook because we also post a lot of uh, other resources and information too. What do you have to say, Mike? Well, you know, drive safe and ride safe, you know, just remember if we had great riders to help us great drivers, we become awesome in the car. So there you go. That's have right. Let's work together, right? Yes. Have a great day. Yes. Thanks for joining us.